In today's video, we will be talking about one of the most useful developments in Employee Central in years, quick actions. We will explain why they matter, we will do a demonstration so that you can see quick actions in action, and then we will show you how to build them out in your system. Let's get going. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the Employee Central Quick Actions to you, followed by the steps required to get them up and running in your system. But before the demo, I should probably explain what Employee Central Quick Actions are and why they were created in the first place. So Employee Central Quick Actions are basically streamlined versions of the Employee Central portlets. Rather than the 20 to 30 fields typically in the job information section, the Quick Actions uh, contain only the fields necessary to complete whatever task the end user needs to get accomplished. They are meant to simplify tasks for casual users with limited attention spans. I'm looking at you managers. The big, This is the biggest step uh, design-wise that Employee Central has taken in years. One of the key reasons that Success Factors is making this change now is that these streamlined quick actions can easily be consumed in AI via Joule as well as in Microsoft Teams. Making it dead simple for managers and other casual users such as HR business partners to initiate transactions can finally allow HR to reach a milestone that they've talked about for years but never achieved, which is making transactions simple enough that managers will decide it is easier to use the HR system or chatbot or Microsoft Teams than it is to call or email their HR person. So anyway, enough chit chat. Now let's get on to a quick demo of quick actions. In this demo, we are logged in as Beetle Bailey, who is a manager. He has been in discussions with one of his subordinates, Angelina Jolie, about moving from the Atlanta office to the Dallas office. They have decided together that this would be a good idea, but that Angelina would still be in the same department and still reporting to Beetle. Beetle is now going to submit a change of location to be approved by HR. It should be noted that Quick actions can also be set up to allow employees to initiate these types of changes. But for our example, we will have the manager complete the action. Okay, so now let's go in. We are going to, as Beetle here, we're going to manage our team. And you're going to see that we have a couple of subordinates. We're going to go in to Angel, Angelina Jolie's record and we're going to click on actions and you can see here we have a lot of other actions but we have this section right here which is the quick actions notice that it is very prominently displayed so now i would just go in here click on change location and you can see here notice what you can see and what you cannot see so this screen has only location on it and only time zone and I'm going to just put in Dallas office yeah and hit save and you can see who would need the approval and that is pretty much it so of course, the magic in it is not what, but what you don't see. You don't see this overwhelming screen uh, of information. Uh, and in this case, all we need is to change one field. So that is the beauty of quick actions. It allows us to do things quickly in cases where there is just uh, a limited amount of, of information that we need to get for the transaction. Okay, so we are now proxied in as L Woods. And you can see here that the location change is available. And we will approve it. And now let's looking at Angelina Jolie's rec Angelina Jolie's record. You'll see that change has been made. So again, nice and simple. So now let's let's take a step back and let's talk about the steps necessary in order for us to create these quick actions. And as you'll see, it's pretty simple to set up. So let's go there now. Okay, so the steps for setting this up are pretty easy. First thing we're going to need to do is turn it on under Employee Central Settings. Here, go down, hit Employee Central Quick Actions, hit Save, Save Again. 
Once we have enabled the Employee Central setting for Quick Actions, now we need to permission the ability to maintain it. So, and sometimes this can take a minute or two to become active in the system. So it's best to probably refresh a couple times and you may need to log off and log back in, but eventually the permission will be there. So you go to manage permission roles. And I'm going to add this to my admin role in my demo system. Scroll down here to manage business configuration towards the bottom. And you can see here, Employee Central Quick Action Template is now available. I will add the permissions, save the changes. And once again, I'm going to hit refresh a couple times just to make sure that permission change is now active. Next, I will go in and I will maintain my use case. So we will do that by going to manage data. And from here, we will create a new employee central quick action. Okay, so here we are at the employee central quick action template. So the first thing that you need to know is what use case you want to use. And it is important to know for a couple of reasons. Number one, when you select the use case, you will find out what fields are uh, available to you uh, as you're doing your configuration because there's a fixed uh, set of fields that are available for quick actions. Uh, so first you need to go off and look at the, um, uh, you're gonna need to look at the documentation. The, the second piece, which is also in the documentation is what event reason, or excuse me, event type is going to be used for that specific use case because the event types as we're going to see in a minute are uh, fixed. So to in order to decide which use case you want to use, I've pulled this up and you can see here it's under Employee Central Core. There's a new little subsection for Employee Central Quick Actions. You want to look through for the different event, excuse me, for different use cases for quick actions. As of this release, these are the ones that are available. Now, again, the, the things to keep in mind here is it's going to tell you what fields are available to you that you can choose amongst and then what event is in use. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the even though the standard fields there's a fixed number of standard fields you can use you can actually add custom fields as well so if you have a custom field that you need to add to a uh, use case you can do that you just can't add uh, a standard field so for example you can't add work schedule to change working hours because it's not already defined in the supporting fields so with that said now that we've consulted this and in our case we're just going to do a change in location. So you can see here, this is what this looks like. And we're going to choose that one so that we can add that to our, create a quick action for that. So you can see here, template code, change location. Notice that the event is going to be data change. And so now we need to add in our event reason. We will choose location change. And for purposes of this demo, we're just going to use the delivered automatically defaulted fields for this use case, which are, is job information, location, and time zone. So uh, you'll notice here that there's a limited number of fields that are available for this use case. Again, these are the ones that are available based on that are delivered by SAP or success factors. I also just for demonstration purposes showed that we could add in a custom field if we wanted to for this use case. So in other words, you can add a few custom fields. You cannot, however, say, well, actually, if I change the location, I need to change my holiday calendar or something like that. That uh, of course, you can have a business rule that does that, but you can't have the user manually selecting that holiday calendar. So that is that is how we could add fields if we wanted to. We could also add country regions, jobs, country specific fields if we need to. In this case, we didn't. We're just going to add those two. And got a warning, no big deal. And voila, we are done. We have created our quick action template for change location. 
So one last thing that must be done now that we have created the uh, Employee Central quick action configuration uh, through the configuration process, we have to assign that use case to whatever roles we want uh, to be able to do uh, that use case. So in our case, what we're going to do um, is add this to the manager role. So we're going to go to manage permission roles in. And we're going to go down to permissions. This time we're going to be under user permissions and we're going to scroll down till we find the new uh, element, which is manage uh, quick actions. And I always have a hard time uh, hunting these things down. Now I've got it. I will select it. That's it. So now that's all that's required in order for the manager to be able to go through and, and use this use case as part of their role. Thank you.